Hi and welcome to Molly O Designs. Today we're going to learn how to make fab flowers, one of our most popular classes. It's so easy no matter what your level of experience. All you're going to do is take one of our fab flower kits and we're going to turn them into these beautiful flowers. You can wear them in your hair, on brooches, shoe clips, bracelets, rings, and even bobby pins. So gather all your supplies and let's get started. To get started on your fab flowers, you're going to need one of our fab flower kits. Choose any color. Our kit comes with a piece of fabric as well as a piece of ribbon that coordinates with the fabric and an alligator clip to turn this flower into a hair clip. However, if you want to use your flower in a different way, you can choose from our bobby pins, brooch pins, ring blanks, shoe clips, bracelets. There's a lot of different options. You're also going to want a very sharp pair of scissors. I love our micro tip scissors because they cut like a razor blade and so they give you a really great edge on this fabric. You can also use our circle cutter that looks like this, which makes this a lot faster, but it's definitely not needed. We'll cover this technique in another video. You're gonna want a good glue gun. Please don't use the dollar store glue guns. If you want your flower to look like it truly came from a boutique, make sure you're using a nice high quality, high temp glue gun. You're also gonna need a lighter, some type of embellishment for the center. Here I've chosen one of our crystal buttons. You could also use any of our beads that we offer or flat back Swarovski crystals are very pretty as well. You're gonna need some E6000 to put your center in. And if you're using a button, you may need a pair of pliers and I'll show you that in a moment. And also just a piece of felt for the back of the flower. To get started, you're gonna to want to line your hair clip if you're making a hair flower. We have instructions on how to do this in our line clip class. So go ahead and take that first and then come back and we'll move on. The next thing you're gonna to want to do is if you have a button, you're gonna to wanna to take the shank off the back. And it's really simple. You just take your pliers and grab on and just give it a little twist and it's gonna pop right off. And that'll give you a nice flat, smooth surface to work with. We're gonna take our fabric and make sure when you're done to save all your scraps. You can always use them in other flowers and there's more than enough fabric in each kit to make two or three flowers, even more if you're making them small. What you're gonna do is take your center. If you're just gonna use a couple of crystals or beads in your center, you can make the center pretty small, but because I chose a large button, I need my center piece to be a little bit bigger. So all I'm gonna do is start cutting a circle right around the button with about a quarter of an inch space all the way around. Now, so many of our customers worry that they're not cutting it perfectly enough. And honestly, there is no wrong way to do this. And you'll see why when we start heat sealing. But you're just gonna cut a basic circle. It can be lopsided. It can be a little off, it's okay. That's gonna add to the organic feel of the flower. Then we're gonna set our button aside and we're gonna cut our next circle. And all we're doing is laying the first circle on the fabric and again, cutting around it, using it as a template and just cutting about a quarter of an inch bigger than we did on the first circle. And you're gonna to continue to do that until you have all the layers that you need. It's a personal preference on how many layers you want your flower to have. Some people just do a couple, some people do as many as seven or eight for a really full looking flower. So go ahead and start cutting out all your circles and then we'll come back and put them all together. Once you have all your circles cut out, you should have an entire stack of your fabric circles here. We are gonna start heat sealing them. And what that's gonna do is kind of shrink up the edge and create that feel of a flower petal. What I like to do is kind of grab onto my fabric like this to create like a little cup. And then I take my lighter and just barely run it underneath the flower. And you'll see that it's gonna activate the polystyrene that's in the fabric or the plastic. And it's just gonna barely start to seal that edge up. If it starts to curl down, go ahead and grab it with your finger and just pull it back around. And you're just gonna continue around the flower, barely running your lighter over. You don't wanna keep it there too long because then it's just gonna look burned instead of sealed. So that's our first petal. We're gonna set that aside and go on to the next one. Again, cupping it, taking your flame from underneath and just barely running it by 
your fabric all the way around. And you see how it's starting to create that pretty petaled effect. So mine just curled under. So again, I'm gonna grab it and just kind of pull it back around. You can kind of manipulate them. And there's my second layer. So go ahead and heat seal all of your layers and then come back and we'll start assembling. So now that you've heat sealed all of your petals, we'll start putting them together. The great thing about this fabric, we tested about 20 different fabrics before we found the perfect one to create this beautiful little curl when you heat seal. And you'll see as we start to put it together, it really looks like a beautiful, expensive boutique flower. So all we're gonna do is take the largest one first. We're just gonna add some hot glue in the center. I like to use my glue gun kind of like a paintbrush instead of globbing it in there. I kind of paint it around with the tip. And again, watch your fingers, it's very hot. And we're just gonna start layering these petals one by one. And you can see because your circles weren't absolutely perfect, it creates a much more organic feel to this. There's no wrong way to do this, which is what I love so much about all of our projects. Anybody can do it, even if you have no experience at all. Okay, so I just built my flower. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I just cut a circle quickly out of felt. We have felt on our little squares of felt on our site that you can just add on when you buy this kit. And I'm just gonna flip my flower over and just quickly glue this on. And all this does is just provide some stability for the flower. And it doesn't really matter what color felt you go with because you're not gonna see it. I typically, if I'm gonna put this in my hair, match the felt to my hair, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is bring in that lined clip. Now, if you were using something else, um, say a ring, a bracelet, shoe clips, I would suggest that you use E6000 to adhere that to the flower because there's a lot more movement in those things and you're hitting them like the ring I'm wearing, I used E6000 on to make sure it's not gonna come off. But with a hair flower, there's not a lot of movement so we can go ahead and just use hot glue. So the clip has a side with ribbon and a side without that has the point. This point is gonna go into your hair. So we actually want to do a line of glue along the side that has the ribbon and then all we're gonna do is just lay that flat onto the flower and just hold it there. Easy enough. Now we're gonna flip it over and add our button in. If you're doing crystals, we have another video that shows you how to add crystals with different types of glue. Um, with a button, all I'm gonna do is use my E6000. It is very strong smelling and if you're pregnant, I highly recommend you don't use this. You could always just hot glue it in and then just keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't come loose as you wear it. But if you can see, I'm just squeezing a little of the E6000 and kind of spreading it to the edge of the button. And then I'm just gonna lay it right into the center of our hair clip. And I'm gonna let it sit for about 24 hours just to make sure it's perfectly dry. And that's it, you have a beautiful hair flower and accessories to wear that people are going to be asking about.